Hi, hello, welcome to Bell English. This is a wonderful opportunity provided by a Canadian-based company in the sector of administration. Administration, as we have been discussing in many job openings, it's a backbone of any specific company irrespective of their line of business. This company located in Mississauga, Ontario is looking for someone to assist them on administration department as admin assistant and would offer a salary of $24.25 per hour and the working duration is 35 hours per week. So before we get into the details of this permanent employment job posting, if you are new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button next to it so that you'll receive regular video updates on daily basis. And do follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I have given the page links on the below description box for you to follow us. So let's get into the detail of details of this particular job. It's a Canadian job and the designation is administrative assistant. The company is Victor M Group and this group is specifically into the industry of uh, recruitment arrangements and manpower sourcing, supplying of resources for many industrial chain companies located in Canada. And the location is Mississauga and Ontario. The salary offered by this particular company for this position is 24.25 dollars per hour so if you could imagine how much that would be and the duration expected from you is 35 hours per week terms of employment is permanent so once you become a permanent employee with a full-time employment in canada you are entitled to have all the benefits as per the labor law so you'll have all the retirement benefits health benefits and other statutory benefits which are provided for any permanent employee and as per the labor market by an employer so you will receive all those benefits and besides that the employer has already applied for labor market impact assessment so if you could go to this this is very essential for recruiting a foreigner in canada so the employer has already applied for this lma we have been discussing about lma in various job postings and in specific to canada lma is very important where uh, the employer has to show he is unable to find the skill which he is looking for among the canadians and he has to prove that to the labor uh, market and only then he'll be able to get this LMIA certificate through which he'll be able to recruit the foreigners for this particular position. Though he encourages the Canadians and PRs to apply, still he is open to take up the foreigners. Requirements? Yes, language, English. It is very essential and you are supposed to have good command over the language. That's very important because the country has two language as its official language. As you know, English is the first thing and the second language is French. So it's, it's like two official languages in Canada. You are supposed to know either of them in order to have a proper communication with your colleagues in your office and any sort of communication has to happen in either language so you have to be fluent enough and have a good command over english so only then you'll be able to uh, perform well when it comes to employment uh, and by the employer's instructions follow his instruction and you have to look at look after what is being instructed for you by your supervisor manager so in order to do everything you are supposed to have good language skill education any college cgp which is equivalent uh, to their uh, i mean their university degree so you are supposed to have any college degree and Equal experience is also considered as an education. So if you are tenured enough with proper education, of course, that could be considered even without education. An experience less than a year is fine. So minimum seven months to a year is fine with the employer. The specific skills you are going to work is type and proofread correspondence, forms and other documents. So before we 
I explain these pointers here. Let me tell you what an administration department does. So admin department is something which handles the correspondence and day in and day out operations in any specific company. They are the backbone as we were saying. So they make sure that the routines are being followed in any given company in order to make sure its other core activities are, are being done without affecting uh, due to the discrepancies on routines. So if you look at a company, there will be certain things which has to happen from supplies to some uh, management and then resource allocation, resource planning, uh, and then buildings and uh, the facilities. These things has to be planned specifically before the actual production happens. So the production people or the people who are considering about the production has to have that piece of mind and the place where they can concentrate more on giving production so that they'll be able to outperform than expectation so in order to do that the administration department does all these other extra activities and gives them a peace of mind with a proper facility and requirements and resources for the base production team to go ahead and do the activity so this is what the admin department does and besides that, they also have day in, day out correspondence with all these resource providers. So when things are arranged by them, they are supposed to have that communication and arranging documents, preparing them, submitting, etc, etc. So now type and proofread correspondence forms and other documents is very important here. You are supposed to type the documents, proofread them, proofread all the correspondence for that matter and the documents before that are being circulated or sent to the concerned end receiver. So schedule and confirm appointments, which is very important in order to have the organization run properly, there has to be a lot of appointment happening between two different entities, one being the company where you are working and the other being the actual service provider or a clientele. So it depends completely on the situation and you are supposed to schedule and confirm different sort of appointments. Greet people and direct them to the contact or service area. So whenever you meet a new people or new person dropping into your location or office, you are supposed to greet them. Greeting people is very essential and it's, it's, it's part of administration department as being a person who welcomes someone so they have to direct them then to the proper contacts and the service areas and to the concerned people for them to have that correspondence determine and establish office procedures and routines so you are supposed to determine and establish the procedures and routines in order to other resources and support staffs to follow so only then it goes and uh, on a specific cycle form where Things would go proper way without affecting the mainstream. So answer telephone, relay telephone calls and messages. So you are supposed to answer the phone calls and relay the calls and messages. So you have to make sure it happens. That's the way a communication actually gets built with any organization. So answer electronic inquiries, of course, electronic mails and other inquiries compile data statistics and other information you are supposed to compile the data and the statistics and other informations related to da uh, daily daily operations so order office supplies and maintain inventories which is very essential ordering office supplies and maintaining the inventory is a crucial job role for any admin so open and distribute a regular and electronic incoming mails and other materials and coordinate the flow of information as we were saying flow of information is very important and shouldn't get stuck or it shouldn't have any hiccup in between for transmitting to the concerned departments so the flow is very important which would happen only through the admin department so you have to open and distribute them regularly to the concerned uh, departments and people that has to be circulated and flown in such a way that the information is reaching the end person 
and it is reverted back without any hiccups at all. So you are supposed to make sure it is distributed and the flow is properly maintained. Set up and maintain manual and computerized information filing system. So management information or any kind of information has to be recorded either manually or computerized. So depending on the scenarios and tools you are using and that has to be filed in such a way whenever things has to be pulled out you would be in a, you should be in a position to pull them as easily as per the management's requirement. This employer is supporting all the newcomers to Canada and the members of indigenous groups and students and youth groups and how to apply you can write an email. I have given the job, this job post on the below description box through a website link. The post is available there. You can access the link and go through the post yourself. There you will have an email address. The email address for of the employer for you to write the email as an application with your updated resume and a cover letter so make sure you provide him with sufficient documents as in your profile your portfolio your resume and any other certification or documents which acts as a prime factor for considering your profile so write in an email to that email address i've given the post link on the below description box access the link and get the email address and send your profile to the employer and that's it you are there so hopefully here you'll hear back from the employer if you are shortlisted so before i sign off please do not forget to like this video share it with your friends definitely that will be of helpful for someone who's stranded really during these hard times subscribe to the channel support the channel follow us on instagram and facebook We'll see you soon with another new job posting. Till then, take care guys. Bye-bye.